I'm just going to do a little quick demo here on this motor controller. I got the batteries hooked up right now in 36 volts. Um, you got the positive here that's also going to the motor. And then the negative is the one that gets switched. So the negative to the motor goes out over here. Um, got a little twist grip throttle. This one's uh, the three wires are ground. This is the one for the, the voltage out and then the positive. And I'm also going to show with this little potentiometer here. Um, on the connections here, I actually have several different wires, but these are all ground. This blue one's not used for anything yet, but I just kind of left it there just in case I want to use it for something else later on, maybe like the current controller. Um, this green one is for the brake, so if this wire gets grounded out, <coughs> it disables the, um, the motor controller from uh, doing anything. This orange is the 5-volt out. Um, this red one is um, goes directly to the batteries when the unit's turned on, so I can use that to power other things like elsewhere. Um, and then this yellow is the input from the throttle. So I'm gonna hook these up here to the twist grip throttle real quick. And that one. Make sure nothing's shorting over here. Everything looks good. I'm going to turn it on, and as I, well, I guess it would help if I connected this, huh? All right, there we go. So as I twist this, the motor begins rotating. That's really slow right there, and as I twist it more and more and more, So technically, if I just wanted it to go to go from on or off, I could just take this signal line here and attach it directly to 5 volts, and then this thing would just go full throttle right away, uh, just like that. <clears throat> but I'll show it with the potentiometer also. So all I need to do is I need to hook up 5 volts to one side, the negative or ground to the other. And then the signal just needs to be the the middle one here. So it's basically what's happening is it's going to be going from it's going to be going from uh, zero to five volts as I turn the the wiper on here. Turn it on. And this potentiometer doesn't seem to be working very well because I turned it quite a bit before it started doing anything. Jeez, there we go. Yeah, it's like only in the very last section of the potentiometer that it actually starts doing anything. <clears throat> so, but this is a 100k potentiometer, so I don't, it might be a little too much for this. Maybe a 10k would be better, or it might be damaged, because I do know I had some of these that started smoking once, and I don't know which ones it were. <laughs> but, yeah, that's how it works. It's pretty simple.